Hello, welcome to Day Off Gaming. I am your host, Tellian. And we are playing LeChuck's Revenge, Monkey Island 2. And we have got our ore reinforced. And unfortunately, we got knocked unconscious. But apparently, we somehow were so able to write a song. Don't ask me how, but apparently we were. So, I'm going to assume this is a map similar to the secret of Monkey Island where it had the dance layer, uh, the dance steps. So I feel like it's the same thing. And we also really need to get this hammer. Hey, don't touch that. It's not a toy. Get it's away a from there. I need all of them. Yeah, I doubt you do, but we need those. So we're going to be sneaky uh, because he is a woodworker, so we need to get him out of here. And as you can tell, he also has peg legs. So we're going to be kind of inconsiderate. Hey guys! Hey! Yoo-hoo! That wouldn't be wise. Nice. Yeah. So, can we use the knife on it? I don't think we can. It would take forever to hack through it with this knife. Okay. But we do have something else, and it's a very sharp one. Yeah, look at that. Look at those jag uh, jagged teeth. That wouldn't be wise. I think I'd better make myself scarce instead. Okay, let's do that. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Aye! My leg! Help! Someone get a doctor! <laughs> yeah. I think he kind of uh, didn't expect to wake up at that. That's what you get for sleeping all the time. All right, that's what I thought. He would be gone. He's doing the emergency, emergency peg leg fix. Is there anything else we can do in here? Can we take that calendar? I can't. He's lacquered it onto the wall. He really doesn't. I don't want it. He really doesn't want to let her go, does he? Can we pick up a peg leg? It's too high. And there's nothing on the workbench? Nice, sturdy workbench. Okay. Can we pick up the stool? No, thanks. I don't touch other people's stools. Okay. Well, the hammer and nail should help keep Stan uh, from constantly jumping out of the coffin. Because, you know, we would really like to... Keep him in there so we can grab that crypt key that he has. Aww. You're supposed to be cooking. We are. I had to buy some eggs. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Okay. Well, I don't want to work here anyway. <laughs> can we use the organ on the monkey? I don't know how to play. Can we use Jojo? I wouldn't want to do that to an innocent monkey. Okay. And we give a banana? Yeah, the banana to the Metatron. I don't know why we do that, but what happens if we give it to Jojo? Will he like us? Will he follow us? Hey, don't bug the monkey. Okay. So what would happen if we put this on the meter, uh, metro, whatever it's called? Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? We hypnotized him. <laughs> That's what it looks like. 
<laughs> Shove Go ahead that. and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Shove that monkey in your coat. I'm not sure how he fits, but apparently he does. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? We want some grog. Grog, please. I don't need to see some ID for that. Well, we got ID now, sort of. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually, it's a fictional name. Oh, all <laughs> right. Can I get you that drink now? At least he's honest about it. It's fictional. Yeah, we could use it. Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. Well, yeah, let's have the Yellowbeard's Baby. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> really? Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the bloody lip. Well, we appreciate that. Okay, I kind of remember this one here real quick. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. I'll explain it here in a minute. Uh, basically, what we need to do is create the same concoction that Largo used to spit as far as he did. And it was a green color. So if we put the yellow with the blue, that should make our uh, green color. But let's see what he says to all these. If he's going to do a pun on all three of these, I'm kind of curious. Give me a bloody stump. I can't. Chainsaw's out of gas. Ha 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 ha. Hilarious. Yeah, I cracked myself up. I bet That'll you. be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And if they have gasoline here, why are we still using boats that are... Well, no, we do have boats that are uh, apparently engine ran. Because if you look at Dred's boat, it is kind of... It doesn't have a sail. So, okay, that's kind of an interesting mix. Huh. I didn't think about that till just now. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. I always considered we were, you know, more in the... Uh, you know, 18, 1700s or 1800s. Uh, you know, maybe they run out the steam. I don't know. But anyway, get us a blue whale. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. Oh, <laughs> uh, he is enjoying oh, but seriously, this. Seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows. Yeah, he was enjoying that way too much. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. All right, so let me see if my remembrance, you know, my memory is still doing good. So yellow with blue. Yep, there it is. And we should. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Yes. Well, take it outside then. No spitting in here. Okay. So I think that will help us. Um, I almost feel bad for Wally that we took his little monocle. I hope I didn't lose it. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Well, we got rid of him. Hey, I did it. Largo Legrand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Meh, yeah, probably. I'll never be able to afford a new one. And we need to... We have an item How that I think... How am I supposed to work? This almost would work Gang. like a monocle, I would think. I'm such a dope. Ah, that'll work. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. I was wondering if that would, because it does look similar to a, you know, a uh, monocle. Um... Uh... Is there anyone else we can talk to? I don't know why we go back to the ship, but we can look. Don't see anybody. Okay. Don't think we need anything else in here. Let us... 
head back to... Where do we want to go? Let's go deal with... Where do you want to go? I don't know. We need to go to Booty Island. Okay. We gotta see deal with her world. eventually. See the world. Yeah, I would like to see the world Sightseeing. eventually. Sightseeing. Well, let's go deal with see Stan. The world. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, show me that coffin. Could you show me that coffin again? Sure. Good, solid construction on this baby. Keeps out the worms while your body firms. Could you get in and show me how big it is again? Sure! This thing's bigger than my <laughs> kitchen! You know, a person's coffin should reflect their station in life. If you're thinking about one of those cheaper models, first ask yourself, isn't my loved one worth the best? I hear you knocking up there. <laughs> that solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. Hey, I think the lid stuck. Um, excuse me, friend. Could you see if the clasp is closed on this thing? Uh, be there in a minute. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody out there? Yoo-hoo! Nope. Help! I can't get out of here! Okay! A joke's a joke! Now get me out of here! Open this coffin right now! Anybody? <laughs> I really am. He kind of deserves this Someone's in how annoying he has been this. in the last uh, game in this one. Dang things do too well. Well, if I had to be stuck in a coffin, at least it's the deluxe model. Right. It really is pretty roomy in here. Oh, well, that's Maybe good. I'll take a nap. There you go. I hope this thing's not airtight. I'm not dead. I'm losing valuable business. I know. Let me out. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. Hello. I'm not dead. Are you still out there? No. Hello. We have left the building. <laughs> Glass bottom boat. We have officially Sunken left the building. Galleons. This may be your last chance at popularity and success. Thousands will spit. Hundreds will win. Yeah, I don't think hundreds will win. Okay, so if I remember right, we have to go back to the big tree. Let's see. We should. Oh, there it is. Be able to use this in the hole. And hopefully, it'll hold us this time. Yes, it will. Looks like a plank stuck in a hole in a tree. Yep, and we want to use that. Yeah, put it in the hole. There we go. Big woodpeckers. Yeah. I would say so. Hmm, I think I get the idea. Nice. At least we don't have to keep doing it after that. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a door, a window, a telescope. Let's go check out this window first. There's nothing interesting in there. Okay. What about this telescope? Nice. Oh, we can pick it up. Nice. All right, let's go in this door. Well, there's that annoying seagull. That's the bird that stole my map. It's hundreds and hundreds of maps. Really? I don't want them all, and I can't tell which one is Governor Marley's. It's lovely Booty Island. Yeah. All right. So we need to find the map. We have a way. 
Hopefully, we don't need another item to be able to grab them. But the dog is able to sniff out anything that is Marley's. Because, obviously, it smelled the ore. It smelled the map. So, maybe it can find it in that big pile. I just don't know if we can pick him up or if we have to give him an item like a bone or something. Be nice and don't do that. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. <laughs> okay, you two. Don't fight. I have a monkey and a dog somehow in my big bag of holding inside my jacket. I don't know how, but we do. All right. Let's go back to this big tree. All right. Yep. There we go. All right, dog. I hope this works. It's crazy, but it just might work. Hello, little guy brush. Good boy! Run along home now. Now that's a good dog. All right, I got the first map piece. All right. And by the way, that was a very long jump from that window down to the ground. I'm amazed that dog survived. Maybe he ran down somehow and, you know, did a circular path and he easily, you know, did what he needed. I don't think we'll probably need these. So I'm not going to worry about picking them up. It seems like these are very specific. Let's see. Let's go back to Scab Island because we have the key. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Scab. Deep inside LeChuck's oh. Fortress. Oh, uh, check out the doors Le or the Chuck, walls sir, or whatever. I regret to report that Guybrush has found one of the map pieces to Big Whoop. You will regret it a lot more if he finds another. Stop him at any cost. But remember, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Creep. Well, someone's not happy. But if you notice the decorations along the back wall, they match, well, maybe not match, but they at least look similar to this. So this does actually belong to something. It's good to know. Okay, let's go check out the cemetery. And there is a crypt. And we do have a crypt key. Not to be mistaken for crypt key on Big Bang. Now... Which coffin are you? I'm not opening up one of these without good reason. Okay. Does it have a name? It's inscribed with a quote. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Oh, wait. Darn! Yeah, yeah, the quotes, famous quotes. Where is it? Famous quotes. Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Rap scallion. Okay. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Old skunk eye. Darn! Commander Buttonhead. Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Barney Gout. Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Fester Leech. Okay. Which one's this? Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Okay. I feel like they're almost in a row. Am I right? Mouthwash. Yeah. We don't need no stinking Wait. mouthwash. Probably close to it. So it has to be this one, because we've already looked at these. And none of them said Happiness manatee. Happiness is a warm manatee. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. Any map? 
I said thanks, and there's no map. There's ashes. Ooh, looks like human ashes. Can we grab some? Silty. Uh, apparently we can. Oh, what's that? We got some feet. Talk about your slipshod internments. Can we pull? No way! That might bring them all down. It makes you wonder how many are up here. We're only seeing what's down here. That's a scary thought. Well, we have ashes. I have a feeling we're going to have to do probably some voodoo work. That's my gut feeling. So let's go have a chat with the voodoo lady. Get our mojo on. In we go to the shack. Let's see if we can talk to her about some voodoo stuff. Back again, Mr. Threepwood? Yeah. I need some voodoo stuff. Well, wait. All I see is the doll. Uh, about that voodoo doll? Yes. It worked pretty well, didn't it? I still have the touch. Mm, yeah, but... I needed more stuff on voodoo. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Well, we have stuff up, up, you know, up on the wall. Let's look here again. It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. And then... They're unlabeled. Are these all unlabeled? They're unlabeled. Okay. Okay, there's... So we may be able to do something with some of these? Hold on. Tender Touch Pirate Powder. Prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. Okay. Golden Tongue. The five-day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. Ooh. That's something that you could use there, uh, Guybrush. Spider lungs. Okay. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. Bat wax. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Wart remover. Cat dewormer. Ash to life. The uncremating cream. Ooh, I think we want that. Let's look at these others real quick. Skink toes. And. Oh, de mojo. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Okay, I think we want this Ash to Life. Hey, that's just a display model. I've got the real stuff back here. Oh, really? That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. We could use that. Yeah, we could do all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah. I could do lots of cool stuff with that. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Oh. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. I have the ashes of somebody I'd like resurrected right here. Nice. Bring them to me. Now, there's only one small problem. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. I don't have that cookbook anymore. What a drag. Right? All right, well, we could go back and get the, uh, go to the, uh, fat library. Should be able to pick up a book there, maybe on voodoo recipes. Yeah, we'll go do that real quick. Where'd you want to go? We need to go to Fat. And into the library, please. And we need to look at the car catalog. Let's look under V. Yeah, probably under Voodoo recipes is what I'm thinking. W's. Visions. Voodoo. Recipes. See voodoo. Okay. I think I'll try a different drawer. So it is under recipes. Okay.
No, come on. There it is. Joy of Hex. The Joy of Hex. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Yeah. I've had it with this card catalog. All right, let's go get the book. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I need a book. I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? Uh, yeah, Joy Could of Hex. Could you find the Joy of Hex? I love her smile as she's moving. <laughs> Okay, here you go. Anything else? No, that'll do it. I won't be needing any more books just now. Don't slam the door on your way out. Okay. Uh, how many books do we have? We have one on the uh, one guy's grave. I don't think we need this pirate quotation book anymore. We could probably give that back. So that's one, two... Three. Yeah, we probably should give some of these back. So let's go ahead and give her the... I feel like we can probably give that back to her. Thank you. Okay. Just in case we ever need to get an extra book, we don't have to worry about turning one back in. Okay, so we have the hex. So let's... Okay. Let's go back to the voodoo lady. Where do you want to go? Back to the voodoo lady. All right. Back into the shack. Okay, we got your book. Back again, Mr. Threepwood? Yeah. I got a book of voodoo recipes for you. Good. How many crab scalps does it say to use? Thirteen. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Oh, nice. Thanks. Remember, just a dabble do ya. See, she didn't need that book at all. All right, let's head back to the crypt and see whether or not this actually works. I'm really happy that the dog and the monkey did not fight in my jacket as I was carrying both of them. That would have been a mess. In we go. Let's look at the coffin. All right, we have Ash to Life. Woo! That's impressive. That was a close one. If I didn't have my flame-resistant apron on, I would have been killed. Um... Yeah... Where did you buy that apron? <laughs> uh, how much you want to bet he got it from Stan? Uh, where exactly did you buy that apron wrap? Stan's previously owned restaurant yep. supply. Why do you ask? Look, wrap, you're dead. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So shriveled. Uh, you, sh <laughs> you shivered your last timber. Yeah, you are kind of well done. Your life is well done. I'm dead. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. Karina's your old pickle relish. Oh, man. Sealed up and covered with goo like a canned ham. I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. There is something I must do before I pass on. Okay. Like, <laughs> Uh, perfect plumps when cooked wiener technology. Yeah. Yeah, pass along your part of the map. Pass along your part of the map to Big Whoop. No, I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. It's driving me crazy. Okay, well, yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check the gas for you, Rap. Thanks. Here's the key. Nice. And back he goes. All right. Well, I think we're getting close to getting another map piece. Uh, we just have to go check out the uh, Winnie store that is over by the beach. Uh, but we will worry about that in the next episode. So I will see you all next time. Until then. <laughs>